Now, what is there before we begin with this method? From the architecture, the settings that you set up, you set up how many layers are we going to use? Is it one, two, 3,000, whatever. You also choose how many units are in each layer, and it doesn't have to be the same number of units in, in each one. And you are going to choose the activation function that you'll use. So that's all there before you begin. From each data point, you get the actual values. So if this is a row in your spreadsheet, these are the column headings, and the first row has one, zero, and zero in it. And then as this flows through your network, the values inside the hidden layers are also determined by that particular example. And so as your network evolves and changes and learns, because it's learn it will learn from each individual data point in the simplest implementation, then you might have the same input values for two data points. But because the network has changed in between them, you might have different hidden layer activation. So that's all from the individual instances. So what is the part that we're learning? This is supposed to be machine learning, deep learning. What's the bit that's being learned? What do I hear from you? The weights, that mess. And I haven't even shown you everything here. I've left off the notion of bias units, which are going to add another three to, to these. I just want to keep it simple. But even with this oversimplified setting, what have we got? We've got nine, nine and three, I can't count, 21 weights to deal with. For our calories example, we also had three features, carbs, proteins, and fats. And that was bad enough. We had four parameters to tinker with, and we were like, no way, just get on with it, optimization algorithm. We don't want to have to do this by hand. Look at this, 21 of them. Now imagine doing that by hand. Just take a moment. In comes a data point, and then which one are you going to change, in what order? 